In this video, I'm looking at a new product that can significantly increase the engagement and fun in your Toastmasters meeting. This is achieved by providing quality 360 degree feedback for the prepared speeches using a rating scale and also run polls that can be set up in seconds. The product is Toast Club, developed by Dialogue Loop. To access, go to dialogueloop.com. Link is in the video description. The company specializes in audience engagement for all kinds of events. For our review, we are going to look at Toast Club. Login using your email ID. Once you sign up, you should get a page like this. The product in its current state is free to try for up to 10 participants. This should be sufficient to explore in your next Toastmaster meeting and decide whether you want to sign up for their paid version. To set up your meeting, click on Add Event under My Free Trials, then select Toast Club Meeting, then click Next. This tool integrates directly with EasySpeak Meeting Management tool. If your club uses EasySpeak, simply select and enter the club number and you are good to go. We don't use EasySpeak, so I will select other software and enter my club details. The club number, club name and the country. Then select next. Enter the date of the meeting. You can also use the agenda URL if you are using a tool like Free Toast Host and then click Let's Go. You can change the meeting title. The default is the date, club number and club name. If you are okay with that, click here which says Edit. The first thing I would recommend is to set up the landing page. This will allow you to personalize your club experience to members and guests. Click here to choose an image that represents your club. Frame the image correctly and then click select. You can also set up a profile picture or a logo. Click here. In this section, you can enter a welcome message and some helpful instructions. Something like this. Feel free to edit the text, for example, to make this bold. Change the font. Once you're happy, click on the save button. Click on Toast Club to continue the rest of the setup. If you link to EasySpeak in the previous step, then the attendee list would be populated automatically. You can also enter the attendee list manually. Just type the name, then click this plus button. Ideally, you should download the club roster from the Toastmasters website into an Excel file. If you have the member list like this, simply select it. Control C to copy. Go to Toast Club, click here and paste with Control V and then click plus and your member list is populated with a click of a button. It's a good idea to assign a photo and an email ID to each member. The photo will give a visual cue to members whenever they are giving you feedback or selecting you as the best speaker. The email ID is needed to send your feedback via email with a click of a button. You will do this for the rest of the members. This is a one-time activity. Once you assign the email ID and the photos, for every subsequent meetings, they will be automatically retrieved and you don't have to do this step again and again. Here I have completed a member list with their photos and email ID. The next step is to set up the speaker list. Click on the speaker button. Choose the speakers who will deliver their prepared speeches. Let's say we have these three speakers. Click save. A feedback link for each speaker is automatically generated. If you want to see how the feedback will look, click on this pencil icon. Here you will see the criteria that is being used for the evaluation. If you want a very simple feedback, we have an option here called text feedback where you can only enter some text for each speaker. Which format you choose is up to you. Next, you can set up a poll for the best speaker. Click this button over here and choose the same speakers. In case you are wondering why you have to repeat the steps for feedback and the voting, the reason is some speakers may not be eligible for voting if they exceed their allotted speaking time. This is based on your club policy. 
but the flexibility exists. In case you decide to remove one of the speakers from the voting list, simply click here. Their feedback will still remain, but they won't be part of the voting list. In the same way, we can set up the poll for the best evaluator. Select the assigned evaluators for the prepared speeches. Click Save. In the same way, you can set up the poll for table topics. Obviously, you won't know in advance who will be delivering impromptu speeches during the meeting. So after the table topic session is completed, all we have to do is click here and click all those who delivered their impromptu speeches and they will be eligible for voting in the best table topics. Click Save. That's all there is to it. At the end of the meeting, you can also run a general meeting evaluation to give you the feedback of the overall meeting. There is an additional feature called Word Cloud. This allows you to run a poll where participants simply enter all the words that came to their mind during the meeting. And you can prepare a nice Word Cloud with this. On the day of the meeting, all you need to do is share this QR code on the screen. So attendees can simply scan the QR code and start providing their feedback at the right time. Alternatively, you can share this link. It's easy to copy and paste it by clicking this button or you can even email it. When attendees open the link either on their smartphones or on their laptop, this is what they will see. The landing page that we had created earlier. Let's assume that the first speaker has just completed their speech. As a Toast Club administrator, I will scroll down to the first speaker and launch their feedback by clicking on this play button. For the attendees, when they click on this evaluations, the feedback form will automatically appear on their screen. They can provide their feedback, enter any comments, and once you're done, click submit. On the admin dashboard, we can see that one person has already submitted their feedback. Once you're satisfied that everyone has submitted their feedback, we can click on stop. You will do this for each speaker. When you click on the play button, the feedback form for that speaker automatically appears for the attendees. You can run multiple feedback forms at the same time. For example, if I click play here, it means there are two feedback forms for the attendees to fill at the same time. You can see here, if I click, I'm providing feedback for this person. And when I click here, I'm providing feedback for this person. Once you're satisfied, click on stop. When you want to run the poll for the best speaker, make sure all three are qualified. Click on speakers. Assuming all three are qualified, then run the poll for selecting the best speaker. An audience will choose from one of this and click submit. And you'll do the same for the evaluators as well as the table topics. As I mentioned, table topics will be determined during the meeting. Identify who spoke, click save, and then run the poll for the best table topics. Once all the feedback is collected, you can send it to the speakers simply by clicking on the mail icon. Each speaker will receive a link only to their feedback. To check the results of the voting, click on this full screen mode and this will show you who has won the best speaker, best table topics and best evaluator. And that's all there is to it. If I go back to my events, if I want to use the same setup for my next meeting, I don't have to repeat all the steps. I can click here to clone this event and use everything that I have set up. Just change who are the speakers, who are the evaluators, and you are done. That's a quick look at Toast Club. I'm sure it will improve your club meetings by providing high quality feedback.